decorated hay bales, like this one right here. Oh, yeah. It's not something you see every day, but Mineola is filled with them. Yeah, it's a place to go. As KLTV 7's Michael Richardson reports tonight, it's all part of the lead up to the Mineola Hay Show, which supports some local students. It's one of the most consequential elections of the year. And no, it's not what you're thinking of. It's the race for who will receive the most votes for their decorated hay bale in Mineola. Let's meet some of the candidates. On one side, it's Megan Smith with her very hungry caterpillar design. All my apples are the best of the bunch here at Lone Star. On another side, it's Jennifer Abercrombie and Carrie Adams with Len Deer. Ours is creative. It was one of the first ones and it blows smoke. Some other designs vying for the crown include a Walmart smiley face, a s'more, the minions, and a piggy bank. Yes, that's actually a quarter on its head. It's the first year the Mineola Hay Show, which began in 1967, has conducted the decorating competition. We wanted to involve other people in our community, so folks that maybe aren't involved in agriculture, don't produce hay, maybe even um, have never been to a banquet. We wanted to give them an opportunity to get involved. Money from next week's Mineola Hay Show auction will go toward promoting local agriculture, including via student scholarships. Voting has already begun for the best hay bale design. Who will come out on top? The winner will be announced next Tuesday. Michael Richardson, KLTV 7 News. Now, if you have a favorite and you want to vote on your favorite entries in the Mineola Hay Show, scan the QR code on your screen, or you can go to our website, kltv.com, click on the big red box on the right side tab. Last year, the Mineola Hay Show raised more than $42,000.